Hi, Chad here with Purple Color Life. Today's project, we are adding the brackets onto the bottom of the Ford 8 end so that the supports will be able to support sideways sway if you're running the brush hog or in this case, a post hole auger that has an extra set of arms that come up to this point of the tractor. So we're just trying to get these brackets added on and we're having trouble getting the fender bolt off. It just wants to spin. So we're gonna work on that and see if we can get it off. Done. You might have to take the wheel off. Because then you can grip the top. You might be able to. A shuffle on it. Started turning at first. Yeah, and then it starts slipping. Oh, you got, got it. it. Yep. Clamp that and then maybe clamp one in here. I'm gonna tighten this up just a tiny bit. Yep. This one fell right off. Yeah. Doesn't get enough grip. Uh -uh. You need to spray some more stuff on it. No. Ready? Yep. Okay. So you can see it's done on this side the fender bolts that hold the bracket on. So here's the bolt we were able to get out. You see we had to clamp onto the top of it to keep it from spinning. And then when we finally got it out, you can see the threads are pretty stripped. Not much to stick back onto there. So we called around quite a few places. No one had the actual carriage bolt with the square top to replace it. But we were able to get at Tractor Supply a hardened steel galvanized bolt so that'll work it's just a little bit different the same diameter but it'll be a little bit different nut size so be a different wrench but no big deal so we're gonna put this in and then we'll have both brackets on the back of the tractor we'll be able to hook up to the post hole auger and make sure that works to drill the holes for that landscaping project Should I do the back before I tighten that anymore? Yeah. Oh, this still has to get tightened more back here too. So did you just have to take a piece off so that you can put that auger on? Yeah. I don't want to strip it. Yeah, it's not like, it's not like something like 
That's what our head sound like something was loose. It's not gonna work. Why? How are you ever gonna get this to be down there? It needs to be turned around. That one needs to be over here turned so that's so it's forward. forward. And I think even if you had the pins in the front hole, right. it still would be too long. It wouldn't work. Now I think they gotta be reversed. Right. Should be easier the second time. Yeah, you guys have to do what you just did. Probably right. We gotta take them both off. So. Oh yeah. Because you gotta have that one over here and this one over there. All right, give us an update. So we went to put the post hole logger on and discovered that with these brackets in this position, the outer bar with the pin was too long for the arm of the tractor. So we think what needs to happen is this bracket needs to go on that side, but flipped reversed and vice versa so that the arms would be longer this way and fit the pins here. And you'll... Well, that was faster. Hold the bolt on. Yeah. That side wasn't even... Plate. And then... You have the other plate? Yep. It was like that, right? Yep. Got it? You want me to get this one started? Yeah, I can. You have the fender? Yep. My whole thing. See, the 8 end's a totally different design than the 2 end was. The 8 end, these bolts are going through part of the cast, part of the axle. Oh, yeah. Did it work? I don't think it's going to work. Why? When this is on here. You can it on a second. Right there. The bar is hitting your bracket. And if you lift it up, it's really going to be pinching it. on this one. No, because then the bar would hit your bolt if it were on the inside, outside of the fender. So was, has this never been on this tractor before? Uh -uh. It's worked on the other tractor, the other Ford 8 tractor. that pin were longer maybe. By right, this side, this side looks like it's further out. Yeah, but see it's adjustable. See these bolts on the inside? Oh, yeah, yeah. That tube split on the bottom oh. so you can slide that in or out. Oh yeah, I didn't notice that. 
tube is broken. Yeah. I'm hoping that'd be easy. Don't let it hit you. Okay. Okay. Stabilizers bar turned out. Real sturdy. So we did get those stabilizer brackets on, but unfortunately they won't work the way we wanted them to. We wanted them to be able to attach that post hole auger to drill the holes for our upcoming landscaping project. And actually you can see that project in tomorrow's video. We just dug the holes by hand and started on it that way. But you can see here in the picture, that those stabilizer brackets are still going to be really helpful because when we're brush hogging or using this particular uh, receiver hitch, those stabilizer bars will keep that from swaying side to side entirely. And you can see here those two black bars on the sides really make that hitch steady. So again, it didn't work like we wanted to. We could, we'll probably have to do some welding and we can't weld ourselves. So we'll have to have someone weld that post hole auger so that we can use it on the back of the tractor again. But having those stabilizers uh, will be helpful for other projects in the meantime. So thanks for tuning in. If you like videos like this, click that subscribe button. And again, stay tuned in tomorrow's video and a couple other videos. We'll be talking about that landscaping project. It's coming along nicely. And thanks for tuning in. We'll see you the next time.